So that's why you hired her. But how did you know? It was just a rumor that a venture descendant had survived. I did not know you were a venture when we first met. You told me yourself. Come with me. We have a lot to talk about. There was no need for me to tell you. What would it change? Sir, this is what we've been looking for all along. The chance to crush disobedient clans and ensure the dominance of the Massimo clan forever. Carl, you may go. I need a word alone with her. Allow me to answer your questions. Do you remember the night we ran into the hunter in the woods? My actions took me by surprise. I was never in any danger, but I was weakened under your influence, and you offered yourself to me so willingly. I told you to leave. You stayed. And although I did not wish it, your blood was a temptation I was not strong enough to resist. I will not lie to you. I had my suspicions. But in finding the heir to the Venture legacy, I did not expect I'd find... you.
stay with me, and together we will be unstoppable. I have ignored my betrothal to Ophelia because I was waiting for one worthier. Our blood is what makes us who we are. A clan's lineage gives them unique power, weaknesses, behavior. The Massimos are ruthless in their pursuits, and the Ventures are born to rule. Together we would bring all the clans under our control. Your safety and the safety of your friends would no longer be a concern. Isn't that something you want? Did you deserve my trust? The Salvadors whisper a few accusations in your ear, and off you go. Wait. Don't leave. Take an extended leave from W Enterprises, but stay in the city. It's the only way I can ensure you and anyone important to you remain safe from the Salvadors. I will not admit anything. Mock power if you wish, but without it, chaos will quickly ensue. Forces are gathering in the shadows. We have been getting reports of unauthorized feedings, turnings, and missing person reports in alarming numbers. My sources have identified a group called Erebus behind them.
I thought I heard you come in. These days I feel like we barely see you anymore. Are you all right? Is that blood in your hair? You fed on a human. But that is forbidden. The lord of the city has banned feeding within the city. Why would you take such a dangerous chance? You could have opened with that. Why would he want to do that? Did he know who you were? Show them the power is yours to possess. If you don't believe in yourself, who else will? You were successful, weren't you? You don't look like a woman who's going anywhere. I thought I'd try to tempt your friend with waffles, but apparently it wasn't effective. She hasn't come out of the room.
Ugh, can't a girl get a little sleep around here? Mmm, are those waffles I smell? Love a man who can cook. Why would you leave such a good job, or was it because of what happened with me? Hold on, Adrian Massimo is the CEO of W Enterprises and, oh, he is your boss. I'm glad to hear that, but once you're in this world, is it so easy to leave? I mean, we're talking about a vampire. I was around one for a day, and I still can't stop my skin from crawling. I'd rather not talk about it right now. I'm going home. Don't worry about me. I'll see you in school soon. What are you staring at? Out of the question. I work best on my own. Fine. But here's your first lesson. Don't expect a smile like that will work on anyone else. And say what? Bring up anything supernatural and they're more likely to lock you up in a mental institution than help you.
You're Garrett Kane, the investigator. Thank God. Finally, someone who will listen to what I have to say. Who's this with you? My daughter is everything to me, so I noticed when she was beginning to look pale and ill. I expressed my worry, but she seemed surprised and claimed she was feeling better than she had in a long time. After some questioning, she admitted that she had met someone at school. One night, I came home to find her looking terrible, on the verge of death. I thought it was just because of her new bad habit of sleeping during the day and getting up at night, so... I followed her that night. Yes, I followed her to a bar called The Muse. I saw them slip out the back door. I heard what sounded like kissing. I was embarrassed, but it was then or never. My scream shocked the bar into silence. My daughter was pinned to the wall, being attacked. The man jerked his head up at my scream, and I saw a bloody wound where he was sucking on my daughter's neck. I'm no stranger to angry men. I was ready to verbally destroy him for his perversity. But I was terrified. His eyes began to glow red, and his hands had suddenly grown the talons of a beast. I don't have any evidence. That's why the police thought I was crazy when I said he ordered Millie to attack me. And then he scooped her up into his taloned hands and flew up into the sky. We'll do our best to find Millie. Stranger things than that have happened in the city. You seem nervous. Don't be. This shouldn't take too long.
Who the hell is yammering so early in the... Oh, what do you want? And who's the stud with you? We're closed. Come back again during opening hours. Do you know what she is, sweetheart? Yeah. Why don't you have her be your test run into these kinky fetishes of yours? She's like a sister to me. I want something dangerous. Just like Millie. Millie wanted something a little extra, hun. Millie is probably one of us now. Tell me where she is right now, or I test just how immortal you vampires are. <laughs> 